Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today's game is a little bit more obscure. However, it did lead to bigger things. Master of the Skies, The Red Ace. First released all the way back in 2000, exclusively for the PC, and sometimes also known as Hunt for the Red Baron or simply Red Ace, Master of the Skies the Red Ace is an absolutely solid, if simplistic, indie arcade air combat game set during World War I, and is perhaps best known for being the game that led directly to Red Ace Squadron. And although this particular game is largely overlooked today, it is still a blast to play. Which is why it is so unfortunate that it does not run on modern hardware out of the box. But of course, we are here to fix that. Now before we get started properly, I should mention that the version of the game that I am testing these fixes on is a physical copy from the Pack 5 Flying Games bundle, which to my knowledge is the only way that the full version of this game was ever released onto store shelves, although physical and digital copies could of course be acquired from the company directly at the time. Though sadly, both Fiendish Games and Small Rocket Studios have both been long since defunct. That said, these fixes should work on any physical or digital copy you have, though for digital users you will be skipping one step. In addition, I should mention that the computer that this fix is being tested upon is a Windows 10 64-bit with a GTX 980 Ti, 48GB of DDR4 RAM, and an i7-6700K processor. With all of this said, let's dive in. Now of course the first thing to do is to install the game, which sounds simple enough and it is, although there are a few caveats. First of all, it's important to note that you'll want to access the setup.exe file directly rather than try to use the auto run. And this file fortunately can be easily enough found in the apps folder of the game's CD. The second thing you'll want to keep in mind is that you do not want to install the game into your program files x86 folder, as this could cause issues later on. Instead, you should install the Globestar folder that the game's directory is within directly on your hard drive itself as shown here. The third thing to note is that the setup.exe file may not actually close on its own once the installation is finished, and so you may have to manually shut down the setup.exe file using Task Manager. Of course, only do this after the installation progress bar reaches 100%. With all of this said, let's now move on to the next step which is to download and extract the latest version of DG Voodoo 2. Once this is done, go into the DG Voodoo 2 folder, then into the MS folder, and then the x86 folder, and copy the files shown here, and paste them into the game's directory. After which you'll want to open up DG Voodoo 2 and configure as shown here. It's worth noting in particular that the VRAM should never be set above 512 megabytes, as this game simply hates having too much RAM and will not play with more. So the game should now run, however if you own a physical copy like me, then you'll notice that the music doesn't loop properly. Well that brings me quite cleanly to the next step which is exclusive for CD users, as digital copies will not have this problem. What you'll want to do is simply download and extract the special fix that I have made for CD copies of this game. Once again, do not use this fix if you have a digital copy. Congratulations, if you have done everything correctly, then your copy of Master of the Skies The Red Ace should be playable and in a modern resolution to boot. That said, there are some things I should mention. First of all, changing the video settings in the game itself will cause a CTD, so you'll want to use DG Voodoo 2 to change your resolution. In addition, I should also mention that the game can have issues if you try to play a good number of missions back to back in one sitting. If this happens to you, simply restart the game and the problems should go away. With all of that said, I hope that you have found this guide to be most useful, and I hope to be back again with another video soon. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.